Hey, everybody. Um, I was encouraged by a, a friend to do more videos and to just share more little, like, testimonies and stuff. Um, because I shared a testimony with him, and he was excited about it. And he was like, man, you should do, you should do more of that stuff. You should just tell little, more little stories about what God's doing. And so just uh, felt like doing that. So I think this is our, my, I would say ours because my wife is sitting over there looking at me. Um, it's our first time like sharing something on Instagram, trying to use more of this platform. But um, yeah, so I just want to share a quick little testimony. And um, yeah, it's from this week. And it's not anything co super crazy. Like there, we have all kinds of testimonies that, that we can share and that we will share more of. Um, especially like in shorter, just little, little moments that we can, um, that this one is, it's kind of a, a fun one. It's, it's interesting how God works and like he works in the little things and he works in the details. Um, and so we are, um, you know, we're here in, in Bolivia and Jessica went to school to, as a cosmetologist, like, so learning how to do hair and nails and all that good stuff. And so she brought these, these barber trimmers with her. Right. And, and they're pretty nice. Right. And like, they're not like, like the top of the line, top of the line, but the, it's a really good set of, um, clippers that she got, um, uh, while she was in school. And, on the way here, something happened. Something happened on the plane um, or in the luggage, and they don't work right. So they're not working right. We actually, uh, so this will be like a two-part little story. So we actually like went on this this like journey to find somebody to fix the clippers. And so we were thinking about fixing these clippers. So we actually had gone uh, with John somewhere. John needed to run to the bank. And we were looking up um, hey, like uh, barber shops. We had this thought that, hey, if we just go to a barber shop, then maybe we can find somebody uh, that knows something about clippers or can fix the clippers. And we, we looked for the closest one to us and we had to walk to it. And the closest one to us was a place called El Shaddai, which is pretty cool, right? That's biblical. Um, so we had a good feeling about it. We walked to it, and the gentleman was was really cool. He's um, he's from Cuba, actually. Um, and he tried to fix them for us, spent some time working on them, tried to do it. And he, was, he wasn't able to fix them, but he, he didn't think that there was anything mechanically wrong with them. He thought it had to do completely with just like the voltage and and the hertz um but we also have like a converter here that converts the wattage and and so it, we plugged it in when we got home and it's still it's just not functioning right and so we made the decision that we would just go ahead and um, just get a new set of clippers. So you that are joined, I'm telling a story about these clippers that busted. These clippers are broke on the way here to Bolivia and my wife cuts hair and there's people here on the site that need haircuts or want haircuts. And so it's a great way for her to continue to practice her trade, but also like just love on people in the community, right? And so we needed to get new clippers and we the the way that you look for things here is we don't have amazon we don't have like a mail service um we do have some like bigger like department store type places but usually you're going to spend more money at those places than if you find smaller smaller shops and so um, the way that you look for things is you just go on facebook marketplace and so you go on facebook marketplace and you look for the thing that you're looking for and you either just buy it and have them just deliver it to your house and literally someone will like send it on a moto which means they just give it to a guy that's on a motorcycle and they drive it over to you and then you pay the guy on the motorcycle um it's it's actually 
kind of cool. Sorry about that. I had to change a little notification thing on the phone. Um, so that's one way to do it. So anyway, Jessica found a place that had clippers and they had them at prices that we thought were reasonable. And a lot of the people that, that post the Facebook marketplace actually have a store. And so we were like, Hey, where's this person's store so that we could actually just go to it and look. Um, and so we, uh, we got some help from some friends here, um, about finding the location of the store. We were able to find it. It's in the, the, what's called La Ramada, which is a, a bigger, uh, it's hard to explain, but it's kind of like a, I like to think of it as like, it's almost like a mall, but it's not a mall because you're not actually inside. It's, it's like a multiple city blocks that are just full of shops. That's, that's the easier way to think of it. Multiple city blocks full of shops, like hundreds and hundreds of different shops, all kinds of things you could think of, um, are there exist there. So we found the place, um, and then we needed to get there. And so to get there, we, we take either public transportation or you get an Uber, but Uber's different here as well. It's like, you could just get Uber and just pay someone to come pick you up. Or we like to use an app. It's called InDrive and InDrive is really cool because it's like, um, it's more consumer driven. And so we want to go to a place we actually say we are willing to give you X amount of dollars or X amount of money for you to take us there. And then people will either accept what you, you put out there, um, or they'll like send out how much they're willing to, um, charge you to do it. Um, and so we were just at first, we were just going to take the bus. Uh, the bus costs two Bolivianos each. If we're taking only one bus, so that's four Bolivianos. It's, uh, that that's a, a little over 50 cents. It's like 60 cents. It cost 60 cents to take a bus and take about 45 minutes. We waited for, like, we saw three of the same bus that we're looking for pass us by going the opposite direction, waiting for the one to come back. It had been well over 15 minutes. It was pretty hot. It was humid. And the bus finally came and it was full. <laughs> like, they couldn't even fit anybody else on it. Uh, so we, we decided to take a, a, a taxi. And so it cost us... 20 Bolivianos, so it cost us about three dollars we get into the center of town we find finally find the shop that we're looking for and we start looking at clippers at these different clippers that they had posted online and just finds one that's similar it's actually the older version of this wall um legend bar this is the barber edition legend she finds the older version of it and and they you know they want um, it's over a hundred dollars us for it. Right. She's not, it's not the, the money's not the, the, the thing we're looking for the right tool for the job. Right. So she's looking and she's like, ah, you know, that one's okay. It's an older model. I'm not from super familiar with it, but it'll, it'll work. And then she had a thought to go look at their display case out in the front part of their store. So she walks over and looks and lo and behold, they have the exact model, the exact same model that she had. The only one on the shelf. And it cost about $15 less than the older model that they wanted to sell us. So she got the newer model for about $15 less. And this is, what's cool is this is the, ex it's the exact same one she was using the only difference is, is this is meant for outside the U.S. It's meant for 220, um, 220. So it's meant for being used in South America. Um, so she doesn't have to use a converter. It, it comes with the, the trimmer set as well. And she needed a new trimmer as well because like within the first couple weeks of being here, um, her trimmer broke as well. So it was kind of like, right, a sucky situation to be here for two months. And within the two months, um, the Clippers didn't even make it here without, right, they didn't survive the trip here. And then the trimmers also didn't survive, you know, the first couple of weeks here as well. So she needed a new 
clippers and new trimmers. And the Lord brought us like to a store that happened to have the exact ones that she is used to using. Um, and at a, at a, at a price, I would say at a price less than what we would have paid in the United States. Yeah. Um, far less probably. Right. Yeah. Quite, quite a bit less than what we would have paid. So, and that's like, some people might hear that and go like, Oh, that like, what does God have to do with that? Um, and, and I say like our, our steps are directed by him right our steps are directed by him we we actually what i didn't tell you is we stopped multiple times during this trip to ask holy spirit what we should do we stopped and asked him about like should we wait for the bus should we keep waiting for another bus or should we just get a ta- a, a taxi we got there and we were like hey should we which one should we buy what where should we go what should we do and we're asking along the way and the fruit of that is that he leads us to exactly what what we need, um, and he takes care of us. And and yet, we could get any little hair clippers and hair trimmers, but the Lord gave us exactly what she wanted, and and, I'm, and that's beautiful. We're going to give him glory. We're going to give him credit for it, and and not just simply say that we, you know, oh we lucked out or we got lucky. We found the right thing or. Um, or, or whatever, we're, we're going to give credit where credit's due, that all good things come from, from our Father above. So I hope that blesses you. It's just little stuff. Um, and we're going to start doing, all, it's probably a lot more me, but I'm going to make Jessica do some too. But we'll start sharing more stories about just little things that are happening. So hope you enjoyed the, the, little, <laughs> the little God story uh, for today. Love you guys.